Go ahead and turn your mics on. Yeah. All right. All right, I'll go ahead and call this uh, meeting of the Dallas County Board of Commissioners special call meeting for Thursday, August the 20th, 2020 to order. First off, I need a motion to come out of executive session. So moved. Motion by Commissioner Satterfield. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Gaines. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. That's approved 4-0 to come out of executive session. We'll move into the roll call. Sign in, please. Yeah. It doesn't tell me who. I just have four. We we know everyone's here. Okay. There it goes. There it goes. There we go. And now we're all here. If you would please stand for brief invocation and pledge. I ask you to bow your heads, please. Our dear gracious Heavenly Father, thank you for this day and for all the blessings of life. Lead, guide, and direct us to do the will of the citizens of this great community. All that's accomplished will give you the honor and glory in Christ's name. Amen. Pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Does anyone have any announcements? Any announcements? We'll move on to approval agenda. Don't have any changes to the agenda. Do I have a motion? So move. Motion by Commissioner Gaines. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fawcett. Discussion? Hearing none, please vote. And the agenda is approved 4-0. No one signed up for public comment in this yes, segment. We'll move on to our one item on new business. The adoption of the millage rate for the 2020 property tax levy. We have had three hearings. Uh, we have heard from uh, the citizens, both by email and in person. And uh, so we're at a point to where uh, we can adopt a millage rate for the 2020 property tax levy. A little bit of uh, information before we get into that. Our current millage rate is 8.089. A full rollback would take that to 7.632, I believe it was. 82. 82. 82. Uh, the reason last year we were able to do a rollback is this board has worked very hard on alternative funding sources to property taxes. We, and just a few examples is we reinstated impact fees. Impact fees uh, help us with new residents moving in at 100, we have 100% rate on that and 25% for businesses. We didn't do 100% on the businesses because the businesses generate revenue through sales tax. And the businesses also don't get any of the exemptions that residential gets. They pay uh, full property tax all the time with no, no option. Now, we've also updated some of our fee schedules that allowed us to be more in line with uh, our surrounding neighbors because it hadn't been updated since uh, 2001. Another thing that we've done is uh, asked our staff, and they have done a very good job of looking at grants that's available. Uh, yes, that's tax money. Yes, all of this is pretty much tax money, but it's coming from a different pot and not 100% coming from the citizens of Dawson County. We've seen good revenue in sales tax, which is also an alternative funding source, whether that's lost or whether that's splosh. And those have allowed us the opportunity uh, last year to lower the millage rate, which was the first time it had been lowered in 15 years. And looking at it in 2020, I think we have another opportunity to lower the millage rate a little bit more. And so that'll be my beginning spiel. I'll turn it over to the board to say whatever they would like. Yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll echo what um, 
the chairman has stated this this board has looked beyond just the dependence on property tax uh, to fund operations and services that that we in the community um, rely on a prime example of, um, of a service I think that it's important to highlight is is we have a new fire station that's coming online in a, a whole of the community that is um, not had uh, the ability to have the, the town class or ISO rating, it's an insurance term of three that the rest of us uh, enjoy. And so an expense that, that we have is, is staffing a fire station and building a fire station, what that's gonna do to those residents that are in that particular area, um, it's going to allow them to get lower cost on their homeowner's insurance to a drastic level, um, probably more than cut some of those rates in half. So, um, you know, those are the type of services that, that are expenses that do provide a, a service that actually do save money and um, it's a needed service. You know, I'm a physical conservative. We're all up here run under the conservative platform. And I think we all share in the um, feelings that, that everyone out there shares is that we need to be the most uh, efficient that we can with taxpayer dollars because it's our taxpayer dollars just like it is yours and uh, we pay the same thing that everybody else pays we don't get any you know, we don't get any free rides it's it's it affects us as well and uh, it's our job one of i said this other day it's one of the most important decisions that we have to make is balancing a budget and uh, with that is revenue and expenses uh, we are not taking for granted that the revenue comes out of the citizens pockets and it's very every dollar means something and um, we don't take that lightly um, I do agree with the chairman I feel like um, since this board has been very responsible over the last several years that we have the ability to uh, do some rollback of the property tax um, we continue to lean more on the economic engine that is 400 and the sales tax revenue that has been huge for this community without um, without some of the things that are down at 400 without the outlet mall. I can guarantee your properties actually will be a lot more than they are today. So it's my desire to continue the trend of um, working on reducing the dependence on property tax and shifting that burden more over to a sales tax um, revenue position because as the chairman says everybody pays it whether you own a house here in Dawson County or you don't um, whether you are um, just visiting um, it, it's something that that everybody contributes to and we see that there's there's value in that and it, and it does help offset the burden of property taxes that we all bear <clears throat> and so that would be um, I would join in the the chairman in supporting a partial rollback of our millage rate this year. Thank the other board member. I kind of echo what Chris said and uh, the chairman said uh, in the, about the loss and the splash. Just our report we got today, we're actually up 10.8 percent from last year at this time. So, uh, and that's a lot to do with our our businesses on 400 and our business owners and managers that thought outside the box and kept some of those going. Uh, and, uh, you know, that, uh, and I'm like, Chris, I want to try to put some more, you know, we need to put some on those businesses and depend on those businesses and keep them going and, and, and take some of the burden. Cause I know a lot of the homeowners have, uh, they've lost out they're not working. I mean, and the schools like they are, they're, they're home, and they're still not working because they're taking care of the kids or keeping the kids online in their schools. Luckily, our schools are back in session, but you know, some of them are not. And uh, some of them are still having to take care of their kids at home. So I want to echo just what the chairman said and also what uh, Commissioner Gaines said. Anyone else? Well, as I said in the earlier meetings, you know, we're not the whole ball of wax. Mm -mm. We can set our millage rate, but the school is setting theirs. And it's my understanding theirs is not going up, but uh, the any, uh, stay the, the same. same. <laughs> yeah, so anyway, when you get your tax bill, I implore you to look at the difference. 
So, you know, we're, and, and you know, I don't want to increase anything. I don't know if you're like me every time I go to the mailbox and, and, and I have an annual um, assessment of anything coming up, insurance, whatever, it's always up. It's just never down. So, you know, if we can provide a little relief to people, that's what I want to do as well. So, but just do, just do look at your tax bill and, and see how much the school gets versus how much the county gets. So. You know, I'll just say, I want to echo all the comments because they've been very excellent, especially in this, uh, this year has mm -hmm. been such an unusual year. And yes. I think this was, this is just the right thing for the board to do. Mm -hmm. I think just an additional comment is property tax. When you look at the general fund, which is where is the daily day, daily operating budget for the county, uh, property tax is about 40% of the revenue needed to operate the county. The remainder comes for things like local option sales tax, insurance premium tax, fi you know, fees and stuff services and fees that the county uh, gets and other uh, revenue. And I would encourage you to go online under the finance department's thing and look at the different revenues and where that revenue actually comes from that gets to that total dollar amount it takes to run this place and to keep the services available for the citizens. So, uh, you know, even though most of it is all a some form of a tax, but when you talk about the alternative funding ones, such as local option sales tax, and you talk about things like special purpose local option sales tax, which has allowed us to keep our ambulance fleets current, our fire trucks current, our police cars current. It's allowed us to build a fire station in an area that was an ISO 10, and those people have been very, very patient. Yes. for many, many years waiting on their fire station and to have the same opportunity that the rest of us have had for 10, 12, 15 years. Yes. So it's since we've lowered this thing down uh, to an ISO 3. And they will see a substantial savings for them. And we've been seeing that, that savings all along since we've been an ISO 3. So if you're in that ISO 3, you've been getting that. Uh, other things that like the special purpose local option sales tax has paid for road improvements. It's built a new fleet shop. It's mm -hmm. built a new uh, public works facility. And as I said many times before, if you ever went to the public works facility prior to the new one that we built, it was a shame yes. that people were required to work in a facility of that stature. And so I'm, I am glad that uh, we have been able to make those improvements. And the great thing about that is 80% of that, whether anybody wants to believe that or not, comes from people that don't live here. I implore you to go down to the outlet mall and do a tag search if you don't think that that is the case. And see how many Dawson County tags you find versus tags from everywhere else. And you can go to Kroger and do the same thing and you can go to Walmart and do the same thing. I can tell you from discussions with chairmen of other counties that surround us, they would trade with us any day on the sales tax revenue that we get based on the revenue this county receives from sales tax versus what they get in their counties. So these type of alternative funding sources to property tax, even though it's a tax, is much better because it's coming from a wider base of people other than the people that just live here within the confines of Dawson County. So with that being said, I would propose to the board a 50% rollback of the property tax. And that would change the millage rate from 8.089 to 7.885. Without any further discussion, I will uh, be willing to take a motion to that effect or any millage rate that you would propose. Mr. Chairman, I'd like to make a motion 
the rollback to millage rate from 8.089 to 7.885. Have a motion from Commissioner Satterfield. Second. A second from Commissioner Gaines. Any discussion? I, you know, I talk too much, but um, <clears throat> to, for us to be able to do this, I mean, you look over the history of, of millage rate and it hasn't been rolled back um, up until last year for the last 14 years. And I, and I want to just highlight again, and the chairman spoke to it, but the, the work and the effort that every department puts in to be efficient with their, um, their operations, I think is, uh, allows us to be able to, to make a move like this. There's not many people, not many communities that are able to, to give back to the citizens in this manner. And so this is, it's a big deal. Um, and so I just, I hope we can continue this trend um, of, again, not relying as much on property tax and shifting over to other resources to provide services that we love. I, I would like to say to all the people that comment at the public hearings and even the emails, uh, how much I appreciate that. Uh, my crystal ball is kind of cloudy most times and, and I don't know what people are thinking until they tell us. And I do, I mean, that is really government in action. And I really do appreciate that. I really do. And I know it takes time out of your day and all that, but I mean, this is your county. It's not just our county. And I want you to know, I have heard people loud and clear. You know, I don't believe anybody's come up here and say they wanted an increase in the millage rate. And I think we've all been trying to figure out how we could lower it. So we hear you and please know when we have these public hearings, it does help us and, and don't say it doesn't do any good for me to say anything. That's really not true. It does a lot of good for you to say something. And I sit up here and I take notes and I write people's name down and all that. And then I go back in the quietness of night and I read this. So thank you for what you say and we do hear you it doesn't fall on deaf ears so that's my spiel and i would uh, add to what commissioner fawcett is saying i want you to feel free yeah. that you can call any one of these commissioners myself mm -hmm. at any time yes yeah. if i don't answer the phone when you call me then i will call you back yeah. i do call people back and i and they do too so I implore you when you have a situation or a question that you ask it so that you can get a straightforward answer. Getting it on Facebook is not the place to get it. Go to the source and ask your question and you'll get an answer. If we don't know what it is, we'll find it out and we'll get back to you. I'm not a, I'm like her, my crystal ball may be cloudy too half the time, but I'm not beyond telling you I don't know, but I will find out and I will call you back. One other final comment, Chairman. This is just one part of our budget process. The second part, which is coming up where we listen and, and we've already digested a lot of the numbers that we've been presented already on the expense side, but we do have budget hearings coming up. So we'd welcome and in, in invite anybody that wants to participate. You've opened this up to a, a public format several years ago where everybody can come in and listen to the requests that department's heads have. And uh, just wanna invite everybody to come participate in that side as well. That, that will give you a great understanding of what they spend your money on. So we do invite you to come and listen to those requests as they make them. All right, any other discussion? I have a motion and a second to lower the millage rate from 8.089 to 7.885. Hearing none, please vote. And that is approved 4-0. Anyone sign up for public comment in this section? No, sir. With that, we are adjourned. Thank you for your attendance. All my pins, thank you. <laughs>